So I've just uh, opened the uh, the plastic on this box. I've not yet had a look, so we'll have a look at what we've got in here. Unboxing. Yeah, this is from uh, Alan Jenks from Carbon. Um, what's it? Carbon Collective Steering or something. I'll, I'll have a look at the company. So if anybody wants one, this is my new wheel. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that carbon. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this. So this is a, oh, that's nice. Oh, God, yeah. So, Pinstripe red marker, um, bit wild. <laughs> the yellow stitching on the inside, but oh, really chunky. Great grip. Yeah, yeah, that's cool as hell. Oh, it's so chunky. Yeah, it's gonna be so much better. This is, yeah, boy. Right, so we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this new wheel in. So to take the standard wheel off, there's a little trim on the bottom. So the, the wheel needs to be upside down uh, and there's a little yellow clip that does the uh, SRS, the airbag thing. So you need to take that, uh, take that trim off, unplug the clip. There's two T30 uh, Torx bits in the side. You can see one there, there's one on either side. The trim, you see here on the bottom, you flick that off and there is a um, screwdriver to flick it off. There's a, a yellow connector that has to be done off, uh, taken off in there and then the airbag comes off. Also, I've disconnected the battery, the negative terminal, and put that uh, safely out of the way. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to fit steering wheel in one of these. So, we'll crack on. So, T30 bit to the side. Undo them. this side okay Right, that bolt's not coming out, but it will come out as soon as I turn the wheel. There we go. <laughs> right, so upside down, you want the wheel. So you can get this uh, trim panel. That's that trim panel off. What I'll do is I'll show you now inside that yellow connector there it slides out of its little holster towards you oh, I can't do it one end <laughs> basically that slides out towards you somehow <laughs> there we go this is hardly one end <laughs> But yeah, I'll probably restart the video. So that's better, you can see it now, I've got both hands. So, get on this yellow connector, it slides upwards. Just 
could do. Gentle persuasion may be needed. <laughs> Yeah. Right, it's coming up now. Right, there we go. What we can do with him now is a little push foot clip here, slides to the back, disconnected. If you don't do that, the airbag uh, won't come off. So now we've got that connector out, I'm going to re-centralise the wheel as best as I can. I won't go the other way. <laughs> we centralize that wheel. As near as down. And now the airbag itself will pop off. There's another little connector under there as well, a little sl slidey spade thing. But that's not a problem because we took the yellow one off. So there's another uh, little connector here. The bottom, it's worth noting. Um, you can see that. See, there's a little slider in it. So we take that slider off and uh, that frees up the airbag completely. So easy enough to get the airbag off, dead easy. Always remember to disconnect the battery when messing around with airbags. What we're going to do now is uh, knock off this nut in the middle, which is a 14 mil, and uh, remove the wheel itself. So let's get on with it. So one thing I will mention quickly is that uh, there's no on on steering wheels and other models they've got like a uh, um, a centering pin, so you can't get them messed up. This does not have a centering pin so you need to be absolutely spot on that you've got your wheel in the right place because if you put your wheel on your new wheel on one spoke out or two spoke out on the uh on, on the dowel in the middle it's going to be it's going to be on the piss and you're going to be constantly getting it back off to try and align it so let's try do it spot on first time which i think it is spot on there so we're going to put our knee underneath it just to lock the uh, wheel in place i'm going to Crank this 14 mil off. That's cracked. That is not not terribly hard to do. Let's get this straightened up again. Right, that's our big 14 mil nut out the middle. So what I mean about the centering pin? If you have a look at the actual. Uh, um, the serrated tooth thing around it if you like the dowel or whatever you want to call it and um, there's normally like one that's doubled up so you can't get the wheel on wrong but with this unfortunately it's not the case so yeah this is a uh, and make sure we get this 100% right first time so this wheel is off and it's that easy just wiggle it side to side the wheel pops off we've got everything lined up just double check before we do anything and yes, we've got it lined up so that the wheels popped off now. We've got a white connector on the bottom, unplugged, disconnected. Now we just need to feed the wiring back through. Easy peasy. Right, chaps. Right, so we are back in the car now with a new new. Mm. So nice, so nice. Uh, right, so basically, fitting is the reversal of taking it apart. So we've got to make sure that our cables are poked through to begin with. So cables poked through to begin with. We've got that one there. And we're poking through there. And um, to line the clock spring up with without trying to move it too much because I don't like it. Um, right, now yeah, it's got to come through the middle, hasn't it? It comes through the middle. Clock spring on there. And, uh, see about that. Mm. 
Right, so we can get this now. I think that is spot on. Get this plugged in. We'll get the center knot in. And then have a proper feel in the car. Do you know what, what I like about this already? Being a really, really lanky guy, what I've noticed immediately, flat bottom. Tiny bit more leg room, as stupid as that sounds. Until I spin the wheel, of course. So that's all locked into place now, so the wheel can spin. Just try and uh, use my knees to lock it, because it's flat bottom as well. I can use my knees to brace it. <laughs> That's FT, that's FT, right. So, looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so chonky. It's so, so chonky. It's gonna be so much better grip-wise. So I thought the original one lacked, especially when they're old and polished off like my old one. It just uh, grip's not great, but that is, yeah. A bit, y yellow was a bit rad, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll go for it. I'll get this airbag back on. I don't wait, there it is. Right, so with the airbag. We need to do this, so it pulls in from underneath. So we feed the cables back through the bottom to do what we did in reverse. So you can slot in. So there's not just not enough stretch on this tiny little cable to do it there so you have to do it from the, the little hatch on the bottom but we did do the slider so I will put the sliding fork back in which is now in and um, that's not rooted correctly is it that fork no it might be no is it Bob is it Bob right fork back out Do not pull on any of the wiring, only the plugs. Whatever you do. Right, so we're gonna route this correctly. So it needs to go under the aluminium bar and then through the middle. And so we can uh, uh, slot it back into its little slot. Right, so. You went in there, picked in, and you, mister, went in here. Let's just in the plug, plugs down into that uh, bracket hole thing. So we're not fishing around for them. You go away. You go in there. Right, your bag. They're back on. Really important afterwards as well to make sure you test your horn and all your steering wheel functions. And have the right socket on your uh, on your wrench. That always helps. Getting these bolts back in is a little trickier. So I have to press the airbag at the same time.
that's one in. Now for this side. Right. Push the airbag in. And feed around with that. Oh yeah, so much easier once you've got one in. Second one just locate straight away. They don't have to be mega tight, just knit. Done. So reconnect your uh, your gubbins back here, exactly how you left it. And I think that's in the slot. You've got the little pin there for the horn. I think that is it. We're golden. So once that's done, we can then put the, uh, the little cap thing back on, as it will go. There we go. That's done. Excuse my dash up there. I had an incident with that uh, clock computer. I've got a new one on the way. But yeah, the wheel, how cool is that? I like it. A bit radical with the yellow, but yeah, as I say, well impressed. Bit nice of that, innit? Yeah. Yeah, well impressed. Love the carbon fibre bits on it as well. I've got a carbon fibre gear and I'll come into terrain and uh, match that. But yeah, that is it. That is how you fit a steering wheel on an FN2. Um, checks to make now. Just uh, reconnect your battery. Make sure that your horn works. Make sure that all your functions work. Uh, make sure you've got no airbag light on. If not, you're gold. Thanks, guys.